This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes or less because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, my name is Kevin Foster and I'm a professional speaker and an expert in ethics. I travel the country helping financial professionals primarily, but any, any profession that requires ethics in their business, help them make it better ethical decisions and stay out of prison. Excellent, Kevin, thanks for being with us. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Well, I love meeting other people and I love helping uh, people, but I also love being on stage and telling my story and the story of others in order to help others from getting on the slippery slope and destroying their career by making stupid decisions. Mm. That's, uh, that's commendable. Question number three, I hear from other business leaders that staying in a good work-life balance for them and their team members is a challenge. What are your thoughts? I really don't have that much of a problem staying in a good work-life um, balance. Very fortunately, I started Transcendental Meditation back in 1974. Mm. I've been practicing every day since. And I have that as my regular way in order to relieve stress and it's done a tremendous job of doing so. So I just keep up with that. And then also I walk about 45 minutes a day. Mm. So I'm, I'm out there, I'm keeping a pretty good, uh, pretty good balance. And I have a wife that keeps me straight as well. And a dog who loves to be walked, so all that helps me out quite a bit. All those are wonderful, especially, you know, the, the meditation and exercise and having a, a loving pet and family members. It's all great. So I'm glad that you're doing that. Okay. Question number four, what other successful business leaders like yourself should be on my podcast? Well, let me think about that and I'll get back to you on that one. Sure. Question number five. What insight or advice would you give to other business leaders? Well, I have noticed that most people get themselves into ethical problems through um, six key uh, personal circumstances or characteristics that they let slip by. The first one is an exaggerated ego. Ego is how we define ourselves. And when the ego is um, exaggerated, then those with exaggerated ego, egos tend to take advantage of, um, of others. Mm -hmm. Also, I noticed that bad decisions are made when uh, people are tempted and those, that temptation comes when there is opportunity. And temptation is when our gut tells us that the decision we were about to make is not of, for the highest good. And so we make that other decision for whatever, for a variety of reason. The next one, um, those bad decisions are made when we were hijacked by outside pressures, whether it be drugs or alcohol or financial workplace pressures. And then when there is integrity failures with the people around us, primarily with our, um, our leadership, um, Leaders are primarily responsible for setting the ethical tones within their organizations, their integrity tones. And if they fail to do that, then the whole organization can, uh, can really slip into bad ethical choices. Mm -hmm. So that is very, very important. Also notice that bad ethical decisions are made when people do not consider the consequences of their actions. Um, I've noticed that more that victims are distant or abstract, the more likely is um, more likely that someone will make a bad ethical decision. And then the final one is what I just call stinking thinking. This is where people think it says, "Well, these rules don't apply to me. I'll never, I'll never get caught. Everybody in my industry does this, that type of thing." And those are the problems that financial professionals or a lot of other professionals for that matter run into on almost a daily basis. Interesting. Of those six, I'm curious, which one of the six do you think you see most frequently? 
I think um, integrity failures by um, our leadership is most prevalent within business organizations, but consequences not considered has got to be way, way up there. Mm-hmm. People do not realize that making these, um, these really faulty decisions can ruin their career, their finances, and their family. Whether it's that extramarital affair in the, you know, in the office, or, um, you know, not doing the, um, they're answering the questions on government forms, for example, Mm -hmm. in their product tests. Mm -hmm. We see that all the time. Interesting. You know, so it's really up to our leadership in order to set the ethical tone within an organization, but by the same token, it's up to the individual employee to consider the consequences of all their, um, of all their actions mm-hmm. and act accordingly. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Very sound advice. And question number six, tell me about your first job. Huh. Well, believe it or not, my first job was actually working on the assembly line in Detroit mm. when I was going through, uh, through college. My father worked for Ford Motor Company And he put me on the job um, working in the Michigan truck plant in uh, Wayne, um, Wayne, Michigan, which is a suburb of Detroit. And that was very, very interesting because I worked with a lot of people who were very much unlike me at the time. I was just a young college student at the time. And we had all these hardened union workers there and the (laughs) unions were were very militant at that time. And it was a, a period of my life that I don't think I'll ever forget, but it was certainly a lot of life lessons that came out of that one. Neat, neat. So Kevin, thank you for being on the show. How can people find you? They can find me at johnkevinfoster.com. I go by Kevin, but my first name is John. So remember johnkevinfoster.com. And um, I have some great video out there and there's some free advice out there as well. Read my blog and connect with me um, on my social media as well. Excellent. Well, this is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook and search for Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.